Hi guys, welcome to all and in this today's video, we are going to see about another important concept in NumPy called concatenation. So before that, let me import the NumPy package by using import statement. Yeah, let me create the three arrays of A, B, C and with the different dimension. Okay, now we are going to create num array A using np.array with elements 1, 2, 4, 5. Yeah, you can see that array A of consists of 1, 2, 4, 5 elements with the dimension 2 cross 2. That means two rows and two columns. Okay. That in the same way, let's create array B. Or uh, yeah. So you can see that array B consists of uh, seven, eight elements with uh, dimensions two cross one. That means two rows and one column. Yeah. Let me let we create another array called C that consists of elements nine, ten. Okay. You can see that array C is of dimension one cross two. That means one row and two columns. Yeah, before doing concatenation, let me introduce you one concept guide. When we are, you are using axis equal to zero in np.concatenate, that means that should the two arrays should contain same number of columns. Always think like axis equal to zero means like adding a new row. Okay. And when you are using axis equal to one, then means like same number of rows should be present in the two arrays both which we are going to concatenate. Like think like it as adding a new column. Okay. With, with this concept, let we go and concatenate array A and C. Okay. Let first print array A and array C shapes. Okay. You can see that array A and array sh A shape is two cross two. That means two rows and two columns. Yeah. Let me print array C shape. That is one row and two columns. Yeah. You can see here that both these arrays contain the same number of columns. So you can add these like concatenate these array because they're having various shapes okay yeah you can see now i am going to concatenate and storing it into d and printing the d shape yeah you can see right so when i am going to concatenate this got a new shape like three rows and two columns okay the main observation is it is like similar to v stack here yeah let's do the same for a and b okay let's print a dot shape yeah now print b dot shape yeah so you can see that they're having same number of rows. So having same number of rows means we have to use axis equals to one parameter. So if we have same columns, we have to use axis equals to zero. So yeah. So now we are going to concatenate and store in e. e. Yeah, you can see right now we got the dimension two cross three. It is like similarly adding into the uh, like np dot h tag. It is similar performing like that. Okay. Finally. Yeah, when you try to add arrays of different rows with axis equal to one, we will get errors. Yeah, you can see like demo here, a dot shape and c dot shape. So, a contains two rows and two columns, whereas c contains one row and two columns. When we try to concatenate these two, we will get errors. Okay, because they don't have uh, expected dimension when axis equals to one. Okay, the, you can clearly see that all the, the, the value error has all the input array dimension for concatenation, something like that. It is uh, giving us errors which don't support this type of dimensionality for x, uh, when x is, x is equals to 1. Okay, now let's do the same when we have different columns and use x is equals to 0 parameter. Okay, now let's print like concatenate and a and b. You can see that we got same error as like above. So with these we can understand what np.concatenate do and what is the key observation here and this is the main important guys when axis is equal to 0 that means they should have same number of columns okay when axis is equal to 1 that means it have same number of rows okay thank you guys